Good morning. We are making breakfast. We are doing a breakfast pizza. So I just made some, like it's country gravy. So it's basically just a roux uh, with like flour and butter. And then you add in your milk and some salt and heavy on the pepper. I need to actually cut up my sausage. So I just do the easy like brown, it's like already cooked sausage. So I'm just gonna slice this up really fast. And we're gonna top it with some eggs. And then I'm also going to top it with a bunch of mozzarella cheese. The only time I've ever had breakfast pizza, I think is from a gas station. <laughs> well, let's go throw this into the oven and we'll see what it turns out being like when we're done. Here it is. I don't know if I'm supposed to let it cool off a minute before I cut into it, but we are starving. So I'm just going to cut into it right now. I thought I'd get you a little bit of a better view because holy shimoli. This looks so darn good. Yes. Okay, so we're starting school with math and math she does it all online so I don't really instruct any of that when it comes to math. We'll do flashcards. Like that's where I come into play when it comes to math. Otherwise her curriculum is all done online. And next we're gonna do language arts. And that one I am very involved. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. In case you're curious on how homeschooling works. It's very laid back, low key. In fact, I am watching The Bachelorette and I'm- sandwich pajamas. Yeah, and she gets to stay in her jammies. Anyway, we're going to get back to school because evidently I am distracting Bella way too much. So she needs to finish her math so that we can do our language arts and I can be done with school today. I thought I would show you. This is my school cart. I know it looks really messy in here right now. Um, it is a chaotic mess. This is all the stuff that we do during like the day. And then these are all my like assistant things that I use for whatever we're doing. Anyway, do you care about that? Probably not. Today's video is sponsored by Hoover. I don't know why I need to sing that. Probably because this vacuum makes my heart sing. But my old vacuum did not suck up as much dirt and debris as this vacuum does. I was thoroughly disgusted. And this guy has the greatest attachments because not only can I get in really good into my baseboards, but there's extenders and I, shorty me, can actually reach the corners in my ceiling and suck up, you know, sometimes you get little spider webs up there. I can get rid of them with my vacuum. Thank you so much Hoover for sponsoring this video. And this is actually the reason I had to get this guy cleaned out because they put in this pipe. We have radon, evidently, like really high radon numbers. And so we're trying to suck it out so it, we don't breathe it in and get sick. So I used to watch a show called Semi Homemade and she would use things that were already basically done and add to it to make her meal. So this is what I call my Semi Homemade Enchiladas. So I start with my cream sauce, which is just cream of mushroom soup, sour cream, and green chilies. And this is the Semi Homemade part. I just take frozen burritos, throw them in a baking dish. Top it with my little creamy sauce. I put enchilada sauce on the bottom too. That just helps them from sticking. Then I added some black olives, some more of that enchilada sauce, some shredded cheese, and then a little bit more of the enchilada sauce, basically just whatever was left in the can. Throw it in the oven at 350 until it's nice and hot, and you have yourself enchiladas. Bella absolutely loves these. I think they're just okay. But that's all I did, and then I made a little bit of Spanish rice, which I just add salsa to white rice, and we had that for our side. It was super good. Bella was very happy, and that is what we had for dinner. Okay, are you ready to take your box brownies up a notch? We're gonna do that today and it's super simple. You're gonna make your brownie mix the same as directed on your box. Whatever package you picked up, make your brownies like normal or if you do it from scratch, you can do it that way too. 
Then once you get them in your greased pan, you're gonna add in your candy bars. So I bought two of these gigantic symphony bars. We do the toffee and almond. You could just do milk chocolate if you want to. I just love that extra little crunch in there. Then you're gonna smash them into your brownies. You're trying to get them right to the center. And usually I just push them down and then just kind of glide the brownie batter over top of them. Bake them in the oven, whatever's on your package, that's how long you bake them. And then when you take them out, look at that gooey center. Yes, so good. Grab yourself a bite and a big glass of milk because these babies are rich. Do you know what this is? Oh, it's putty. Okay, so we have got to figure out a way to get this putty out of here. I'm gonna go do a little bit of research and I'll be back. Oh yeah, so I can get it out of the Velcro. Oh my gosh, look at down here. It's also in the carpet right here. I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. And this is like seeping through over here, so I hope I can, I don't know. I hope I can get this out. I'm gonna keep scraping it, and then I'm gonna get the hot um, water and see if hot water will get rid of it. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this exactly. I'm kind of freaked out. I, I figure if I go from the back, I don't know actually what I'm figuring. I'm like, oh, this water's so hot. <laughs> like, will it just like scrape off now? Actually, yeah. Okay, I know the lighting's bad. Can you turn on the flash at all? But I'm just adding hot water to this. And it actually is pulling out. What? I had no idea. I think I got it all. Nice. And then this, I'm still working. There's just a tiny little spot here that you can see on the other side. You can probably tell where it's like a little bit shinier. But I got most of it up. I'm kind of impressed <laughs> with this warm water technique. And I've just been working on it for a couple minutes. So I think if I keep at it, I think I can get all of this off. So does that mean I'm not in trouble? No, you're still in trouble. Oh. Okay, so you can still see a tiny little shadow. I don't know if it's still like super wet or if it's because I didn't quite get all of it. I did get it out of the carpet. Looks like I need to vacuum under here. Embarrassing. Um, and see there is still like a little bit up here. But I'm just going to give up for now. Let it dry so I can see exactly where it's at. With this flash on I can see it really good. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all. Or if I just need to you know go give it a second pass. It looks way better though right? Like it was stuck in my carpet. I can't believe I got it out of the carpet. And if it's just this little spot it'll be fine. The thing that annoys me most, I would say, about having putty in my couch is I just got this couch maybe like, what, two months ago? So Three months ago? Yeah, we did get a lot of the putty out. But my point is, I just bought this couch and my last couch that I had forever, it had putty and that one actually had slime in it like on week three. And so I was like very like kind of over cautious about having the putty on my couch. And Bella kept leaving the putty lids open and I had to keep reminding her to close the putty lids and it happened. I'm so I'm mad. This is me mad. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let this dry and we'll check on it I guess in a few days and see if I can get more of the putty out. Anyway, Hopefully that's my that's my story on why I'm annoyed that there's putty in my couch. But now I need to vacuum underneath here because evidently I haven't been flipping this couch but I've been vacuuming, so. Again, thank you so much Hoover for sponsoring this video. Their link is down in my description. Go and get your vacuum now. You never know when you're gonna need it. So we thought we would end with a happy note. I'm really not mad about the putty. <laughs> Honey, it's no just, big deal. It's just annoying, but Bella has some really exciting news that she wants to tell you. All right, I was at hockey. I was at a hockey game, mm -hmm. and I scored. Yeah, <laughs> she scored. She's amazing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in our next video. Bye.